Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Bausch, the Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, so pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the sharp portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right, I don't know how to pronounce it. It was never said. Some of you say Bausch, some of you say Boosh. You know, who, who knows? The point is, you know why you're here. We're here to draw, you know? So let's just draw, not worry about how things are pronounced. Okay, so uh, we're just going with a normal stance, a normal bounty hunter stance. And uh, and that's it. So yeah, that, that simple, that easy, that much of an explanation. Oh, and also, I guess I guess we're kind of doing the the Princess Leia costume, Bausch. Uh, okay, so I mean, what I mean by that is, I, I guess it's 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 understood that this bounty hunter they captured him and took his outfit, right? Or he's dead and they took his outfit. The point is, this version that we're looking at is Leia dressed up. And at this point, we don't know anything about him, right? So we're, we're pretty much drawing Leia in disguise. That's really what we're drawing. I really should have labeled the, the video as that, Leia in disguise, because that's, that's all we understand of this bounty hunter. But do you, you get what I'm saying though, right? Is that he uh, he's either dead or captured or whatever, and this is his outfit so this guy was known they they knew who he was that's why he was let into Jabba's lair and that's why he you know they assume that oh yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Bausch Bausch caught caught uh Chewy it that's believable or everybody's just dumb you know that's one of two things everybody's just dumb or this guy was awesome enough to capture Chewbacca so that's what we're going off the assumption that this is is a bounty hunter extraordinaire that can capture Chewbacca okay and you know I gotta find I gotta find the right pictures because I'm going for the uh, he's going to be holding his his pike, I guess. What are you going to call it? Because again, we don't know much about him, or I guess her. We're going to say her at this point because again, this is this is uh, Leia. So we don't know um, much about the weapon she was holding. We just know that she had this little pike. And I want to draw it like a like a spear type kind of thing because I always assumed it was like a weapon, like a gun. But I mean, in the end, we really don't know what it is, right? Let me see if I can find a picture. Man, maybe it wasn't. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it was cool. It's hard to find pictures though, and I don't have my toy. I've got this in the Black Series. I was I'm lucky enough to have been collecting long enough to own the Black Series figure. So, I, I, I have it, I just never, I just didn't go and get it out of storage to look at it. Okay, um, I think that might be enough for this sketch because the thing about this one is um, it's going to come down to detail and I don't really, really need to pencil in the detail. I just need to get the placement ready. And I think that's about enough 
for the for the sketch, right? Because now it's going to be about placement and uh, yeah, and I think that's good enough. So, so uh, let me get my eraser real quick. I just realized I don't have it. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase some of these lines real fast and leave myself just enough to see where we're going to go with the sketch. Um, but because I want my Sharpie to stand out and I've got the placement and that's all I need. So let me just erase some of the sketch lines. I'm going to leave the confidence lines that tell me where everything was going to go because first I sketched and I was trying to figure out where it was going to go, like placement and all that stuff. As I got more confident, those lines pre I pressed harder. Those lines are darker, and I could see where I was where I was going with it. So, as I erase, the sketch lines disappear faster, and print lines, the, the uh, confidence lines stick around. So that's all I need. So I'm going to. Sorry, all my stuff is all over the place right now. I wasn't quite ready to record, but I started recording because I was excited to draw this one anyway. So let's get going. So let's welcome everybody that skipped to get going. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pencil is finer than a fine point. It can find things that a fine point can't quite find. Sketch the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left enough to see where I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna get started with the Sharpie fine point. I'm sorry, the Sharpie pen, because I can control the line width much better. And if you wanna see more Star Wars playlists, look up here and you can see all the Star Wars stuff that I do. And chances are, whatever you're looking for, I've probably already done it. So take a look at the playlist and see what I've done before you make a request or not. If not, make a request and we'll see what we can do. Now I've got it looking straight at you, so I'm just gonna start off with the visor and I'm gonna try to draw straight lines, but I'm not too worried about whether I do or don't. So I'm just gonna draw her, her eye sockets, her eye line, like this, going across. Something like that. Looks good to me. See, it's a little crooked. It's a little uh, um, not perfect, so I'm okay with that. I'm fine with how that looks. I'm gonna try, but I'm not worried about whether it's perfectly straight or, or if it's um, uh, crooked or whatnot. Now I'm gonna recompensate, like if I did draw it over a little bit, I'm gonna fix what I did, but I'm okay with how it looks. And I'm gonna draw the little extra stuff she has on her head over here. And on this side, yeah, it's both of them, it's both of them. So I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. And I'm just adding like little greeblies because I've got a picture, but there's only so much I can see. So I'm just basically trying to hit the elements, try to make it look like, like what they did. Okay, so the top part does go up a little bit. Like that. And it looks like, then there's this visor thing. And that's what's really cool is like, it looks like she's got a couple of visors, right? Like a couple of sets of eyes. And if you see me going over my lines a little bit, sometimes I like to make my lines a little thicker. And then especially getting ready for what this is gonna do. You're gonna see a huge difference in line width. And that's why I'm, I'm trying to match how that's going to look eventually. And there you go. And see, see how, how, how shaky my hand is? I'm okay with that, I'm fine with if it's not perfect, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna do the, uh, let's see, it looks like there's a little thing on top here. I'm just gonna come out for her little, what would you call this? Not, I was gonna call them like wings, but I guess they're not wings. It's just the, the furthest part of her, of her helmet, you know? And I may have drawn it a little too big, that's okay because in the overall grand scheme of things it still is gonna look good you're not gonna look at it and say that's not Roush or that's not how you pronounce Roush <laughs> you 
You might. You might, because again, I don't know how you pronounce it. Nobody knows how. Ooh, look how far out I did. That's an accident. Let me try to fix that. Ooh, but you know what? That works because there is another level to it that I wanted to kind of capture. And that also helps me regulate the sides because this one was too small compared to that one. So it worked out like that. Yeah, I like that. Awesome, what's funny is, you know, I usually use this pen for uh, details of the face. And I was even thinking to myself, like, oh, this one won't take too long because there's no face, you know, but there's enough details in this mask that we do have to, you know, kind of slow down for it. So uh, that's making up for the details we got lacking in the face, but still it looks awesome. You know, that's what I like about it. Okay, and I think that's good for the head, for the top part. Again, I'm thickening up these lines just to match what's about to happen with the Sharpie. I'm gonna switch over in a second. Well, not in a second, but when I do switch over. You'll see what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm also telling you is you don't have to do that. I'm explaining to you why I'm doing it. So, okay, so I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna draw the mouth first, or the, I guess it's not really the mouth, it's like the, what would you call it? Because it's not, a, it doesn't speak, you know, the mouthpiece the uh, respirator part. I don't know. What would you call it? You, you know what, we're just gonna call it the mouth. I'm sitting here racking my brain trying to figure it out. We're just calling it the mouth. And I'm gonna color it in with color anyway, so I'm leaving that wide open like that. But that's giving me placement. like a line right there, but I'm gonna do that with color. I think it would look much better if I did that with color. Um, bring this one down, connect it right there. And again, I'm thickening mine up, but you don't have to. Especially if we're working with pencil, it might look a little silly. So uh, <laughs> this looks silly without those lines, but I'm gonna, if you wanna do it, just draw a little line right there and another one like that, but I'm gonna do it with color because it's not a hard edge. I mean, I guess it is, but it's not a black edge. So it's a hard enough edge that you need to accent it, but I'm gonna do it with color to give it a highlight. All right, so I'm switching over to the other Sharpie now. Now, I've got her pike, uh, uh, whatever you wanna call it. Sorry, I got some sunlight coming through. I'm trying to compensate and make sure it doesn't mess up here. Um, her spike, whatever you wanna call it, pike, uh, in front of everything else, so I kinda need to get to that. So, I'm gonna draw her collar like this coming this way to the edge of her uh, shoulder piece, right? I'm just kind of getting you close to where we're gonna be and her arm is gonna be up right here holding the spike, pike, whatever it is. So I'm going to draw her hand like this. Okay, and um, she does have little tiny spikes all over the place, but they're almost too small for this. So I'm gonna draw one finger up. Here's the knuckles like this. We can go ahead and throw like a few of those in there. We'll just do something like this because they're, they're almost too tiny to draw, but they are there, right? Like that, just to just to have showed that something is there, okay? Um, that's for her hand, and then it's all a one-piece glove. So let me draw the glove, and then we're gonna draw the spike. Uh, I guess, should we do, yeah, we probably should use a ruler. Uh, so go grab a ruler, pause right here. All right, nice to see you back. Um, I'm gonna draw her arm like this. Um, I'm glad you got your ruler. You have a ruler? Awesome. Did you not get one? Okay, go get it. Just pause right here and go get it. All right, nice to see you back. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing that. Um, mine and um, 
Her other hand is gonna be down here holding it. Now, I've got it like this. I've already drawn my line so I know where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna draw the other hand first because I wanna make sure I don't draw through the hands. So I'm gonna draw the other one down here like this. And let's see, the knuckles are kind of wrapped around like this. And then the other ones are like this. And then I'm gonna draw like the the uh, the 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 glove kind of comes around like this that goes around the entire thing. So I'm drawing it kind of around the knuckles, and the thumb's gonna come wrap around on the other side like that. Now, now that I have that, I'm just gonna draw a quick line and then another quick line. So I'm gonna do like this. Ooh, wait, I kind of know where I'm gonna go. Because for the most part, it's this part is one solid piece. All right here. Okay, then I'll add some detail, but for the most part, the middle piece like that is one solid piece. So I'm just gonna eyeball the opposite end. I'm just gonna come in here and see about where I wanna draw it, and then drop that line. It's good to me. And if you don't want to see, look, I even got it way too small here. I didn't get it right, but I'm okay with that. I'm fine with how that looks. But we drew that first so I can draw everything else behind it, basically. I mean, let's go ahead and finish up that pike since we're here. Let me find a good picture of it. And the rest of it, we're just gonna eyeball the, the, um, the, uh, the greeblies and the, the, the other shapes. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda come up here and do one of these. Like that, it's gonna come up here and add a little bit extra. The same thing on each side. And again, here I'm just kind of making it up. I'm looking at a picture, but it's almost impossible to get it exactly like the way it's supposed to be in the amount of time that we have to do it in. So I'm just kind of making up what it looks like just to give it that look, right? Oops, I should do this line. And there we go, something like that. Then the bottom half, it's like a thicker piece. So I'm gonna come over here and do this. And, uh, and build on it. And the other thing is too, is we don't know what this is. So you can't really do it wrong. You know, I was talking about in the sketch that when I was a kid, I thought it was a gun. I thought it was some kind of blaster, you know, some kind of long gun or something. But it doesn't really have a trigger or anything like that, so who knows, right? And also, no one's going to look at this drawing and say, that's not the correct pike. Awesome, you got a friend who knows some information you don't know and learn from them. You know, find out. So what? what is? How do you, how do you know? Like, tell me. Teach me, let me be the one to know now and be knowledgeable. But see, after just a few things like that, now we've got the pike, we're done and we're ready. So I can draw what's behind and just get in with the details. So let me get back to a good picture. Okay. There's some, some, some other pieces on here that I'm not sure what they are, but I'm trying to go by as many good Star Wars pictures as I can find. All right, okay, I think I got it, I think I got it. There's a lot of good like like pictures, but um, they, they took uh, tours with this stuff so you can actually see everything. So I kind of have some good pictures, but they're all over the place. They're all uh, scattered. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that side there. This is gonna come down here. It's gonna cut through like this, but oh, I guess I can draw this edge. So it's gonna come through like that underneath. And again, this is why I like drawing what's on top first, because I can plan on not drawing through that and make it look like it's one thing. Same thing here with uh, um, edges, like I was talking about on his mask. Um, this has a curve to it, but it does have a slight edge like this that I do want to go ahead and highlight, but that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, so there's another set here, but there's a belt going across and the belt is there's material right here 
down to the belt. And the belt has little uh, attachments here. Greeblies, we're just gonna keep calling them Greeblies because that's what they call them in Star Wars, the little extra things that they added to make stuff look extra, like functional. You should go look up why that is, what, what they, what they, where they got that from. It's awesome, it's really cool. Super interesting and fun. Um, okay, so this belt is going across, hanging down here like this. And then it looks like it's attached right there. And uh, now it's going up. So, and like I said, I like drawing this stuff first because that way I don't accidentally draw through it and it looks functional, you know? Got a bunch of bullets. I'll put those details in a second. But basically, I wanted to do that first like I said, so I can make sure I get the rest of it done right. Now, there are so many greeblies all over this thing, it's almost impossible to do. So maybe I won't, you know? It's like, I think we should add some, do some stuff, but we're not gonna add every single little piece here. It's almost impossible to do. Okay, but at least we got the, pick, the, the, the the detail, right? The the bulk of it. So there's this collar piece like that going under. So it comes here and goes on the edge of her um, shoulder strap, shoulder piece, shoulder protector. What would you call this? But see, we draw what's on top. So then we just draw what's underneath. And A, that's all we got to draw. B we're done you know we got we got the major part of the detail the majority of the detail done again something here full of greeblies again I don't know what it is <laughs> okay and her shirt's just kind of wrapping wrapping over like this oh yeah yeah, yeah. I gotta draw this part here and that's her cloth connecting let me draw lines here to show that it's material all wrapped up over itself. Oops, look, I actually punctured the uh, the sword, the sword, the scabbard there. What did I call it? Not a scabbard, a, uh, I called it something else. A pike, that's what I call it, a pike. All right. Okay, so a lot of floating stuff here, so let me, let me get back to it. It's just, again, there's so much detail in, on, on their belt that I kind of have to do all those little things. So now that I've got that done, I can draw her shoulder like that. And again, see, that's all we got to draw for the shoulder. I've got the material that's flowing there, but it's kind of wrapped up all over itself. So we're just going to kind of do this. This one's hanging down. We'll say it's like that. But again, her arm is up and bending, bending all that material. So there's only so much I can do anyway, you know? Okay, so let's see. That means this cloth is hanging down like this. I'm going to go ahead and add some creases and folds into that. Okay. This um, arm is hanging down here. It's kind of wrapping over her, her uh, what do you call it, her hip. So I'm going to come down here. And leave a little bit of room for the spikes like that. Come down here for the wrist, coming down really like this. I'm gonna add those little spikes like I did just a little bit so I can kind of break the uh, the uh, silhouette. We're gonna say you can see them better this way. And this is all cloth, so I'm kind of playing around with with crease lines, you know? 
That's the nice thing about cloth is you get to do all these awesome crease lines. So that piece of material is still underneath the belt like this. So I'm gonna add more wrinkles and folds from where it was wrapped up on itself like that. And now this shirt is hanging down as a big piece of cloth. So this one right here where it's, where it's wrapped up over itself, it's coming down through here. So we're gonna say it's coming down like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and just bring it over, go up. Same thing here, this one's kinda hanging down the rest of it here, like that. And again, it's, it's cloth, so let's add some wrinkles. Boy, I keep, I keep jumping through the pike, but oh well, it happens, you know? Okay, so now we're just doing them legs. So, uh, pretty much just cloth, nothing too crazy. Down to the knees, to the shoes, or the belt, the, the belt, the boots. I'm just excited to draw this one. This is just so much fun. Something like that. Now she does have this weird pattern cloth. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this and I'll probably do the rest with color. That way I can highlight it, but it's not strong enough that I need to add a hard edge line like that. And, and I can highlight it better with, with color so it'll kind of stand out. All right, so there are like lace things, that's all I can really say. They're like this, look, here's the boot, and there's like this material that kind of goes over it like this. Okay, let's just draw the boot and I'll show you what I'm talking about over here. So it's coming down here, and then there's the back like this, and then there the boot, or the, the heel, there's this like, like this, like a, material kind of wrapping over. Does that make sense? And that's what that is. It's kind of going over it like that. And uh, there's like a big old button on the side. So this foot is pointed at you. So I'll go ahead and just draw the edge of it. This, this one is pointed out. That. Something like this. Let me add a little extra. Did you see me try to pick that up? Did you just see that? Man, my brain is just not here today. Let me add a little sole up there. Clean this one up. Add a little bit right there. We'll crease that boot up, something like that. Just kind of scuff it. There are pattern lines in there, but uh, I'm gonna do that with color. So same thing, let's do that with color. So I say we take care of the rest with color. Ooh, hang on, nope. Let me do this, let me add just like we did over there, just a highlight, right? So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Bounty Hunter Bausch from Star Wars. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with How I Draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.